Today, we learn how to restore some life to a laptop computer battery. While you can do a few things to boost your battery's lifespan, computer batteries must be replaced every two to three years for optimal performance. Also keep in mind that if your laptop has a lithium battery, freezing it or repeatedly discharging it completely will damage the battery further. Your battery has to be either nickel metal hybrid, NIM, or nickel cadmium, nicked, in order for this method to work. If you do this method with the wrong battery, the battery will likely be destroyed. Your laptop must be completely turned off and unplugged before you attempt to remove the battery, as failing to do so may result in an electric shock. In most cases, you'll remove the bottom of the laptop and unclip the battery from there, though your laptop may have a battery release button on the bottom instead. You'll want to do this to add a buffer between your battery and the second bag you'll use. This will ensure that the battery doesn't get damp while freezing. Avoid using a regular plastic bag for this, as the battery may accumulate moisture in such a bag. Doing so will give the battery enough time to restore at least part of its lifespan. You can leave the battery in for as long as 12 hours, but leaving it in any longer than that may cause the battery to leak. Once your battery has spent enough time in the freezer, you can remove it, dry it off if needed, allow it to come back to room temperature, and then plug it back into your laptop. You should be able to charge the battery from there. You'll want to recalibrate your laptop's battery if your computer's battery indicator is no longer displaying the correct amount of charge. For example, if your battery indicator says you have 50% charge but your computer shuts down shortly after, you should recalibrate your battery. Keep your computer's charger plugged in until your battery reaches the fully charged point. Remove the charger side of the charger cable from your computer to do so. Never disconnect the wall socket side of the charger first, as plugging it back in while the charger is connected to the laptop could damage your computer. You can simply keep your computer turned on until the battery life runs out, but streaming video or running another battery consuming process will speed up the battery draining. This will ensure that the battery's phantom charge is completely gone before proceeding. Skip this step for a lithium battery. Plug back in the computer's charger to do so. Once the battery reaches 100% again, it should be calibrated. If your laptop's battery is suddenly draining faster than it used to, performing this method once may fix the problem. You don't want to perform this method too often, completely draining and then recharging most laptop batteries repeatedly can reduce the overall lifespan of the battery by 30%. Remove your charger from the laptop's charging port to do so. Never disconnect the wall socket side of the charger first, as plugging it back in while the charger is connected to the laptop could damage your computer. You can simply keep your computer turned on until the battery life runs out, but streaming video or running another battery consuming process will speed up the battery draining. This will ensure that the battery is completely dead before you proceed. Skip this step if you have a lithium battery. Plug back in the computer's charger to do so. This process will be more effective if you leave your laptop off for as long as possible. 
You can use your computer during this time, but make sure that it is plugged in for at least two days without a break. Doing so will ensure that your battery is fully recharged, which may lead to an increase in overall battery life. Discharging your laptop's battery all the way can cause the battery's life to drop by 30% after between 300 and 500 discharges, while discharging to 50% requires well over 1,000 discharges before the battery will lose a comparable amount of its lifespan. Heat can both prevent your battery from operating efficiently and cause damage to the battery itself. If you're running your laptop in warm environments, make sure that the laptop's vents are unobstructed. If you're going to be placing a laptop in storage, you can ensure that your battery retains most of its lifespan by storing it at full charge in a location that's between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade. Batteries can be stored in this condition for several months before needing a charge. Never store lithium batteries at anything other than 100% charge. If your laptop has a removable battery, disconnecting it and keeping the computer plugged into its charger while performing system-intensive actions such as gaming or video editing can help prevent heat damage to the battery. Heat can shorten the battery's lifespan, so this is an optimal step if you often use your laptop for high power activities.